What's up YouTube? I wanted to make a quick video on an app called Torque Pro. I've had it for a few years now. I absolutely love the thing. It saves you time from to take it to a parts store or dealer just to get a diagnostics code. Uh, that uh, This app does way more than that. It's a lot cheaper than your average tor than your average scanning tool, and even mo a lot of the scanning tools that are like in the hundred dollar range, um, what your your average person owns, uh, doesn't do anywhere near what this does. And the app alone was for this was the app was about five dollars, and this Bluetooth scanner was 20 if i remember correctly i've had this scanner for a couple of years there are a lot cheaper ones out there uh the they're that uh transparent bluish color coming from china they don't seem to work on ford and they don't work well i mean they work just not nearly as well as this one does so i'm just gonna give you i'm gonna give you a quick show on it it uh i don't have any codes on my truck right now but you'll get an idea what the app can do first we're gonna take her i'm gonna take this guy out of here that's for my tuner and i haven't quite figured it out yet but there's a uh, a way for diesel owners to be able to check their uh, balance rates with it. It's a it was a newer update with the PIDs. Um, I know it's an option now. I just gotta figure out how to get it all set up. So, so I'll turn my key on here. And then uh switch over to the app. Okay, so you can see my app is connected in the top left hand corner. Um, you have the device ready symbol. You have the OBD2 reader is ready. And you can see that my vehicle is ready. It's all communicating. <laughs> uh, the only thing that's not right now is GPS location. I don't have that on right now because I have no use for it at the moment. That's the only reason I don't have it on. Um, but we can. We'll give this a quick. All right, so we'll give this a quick check. I, I don't have any codes, but you know, we're just gonna do it for fun. I actually think maybe I uh, should have intentionally tripped a code. Wouldn't have been too hard, I suppose. Could have just disconnected my mass airflow or my pressure sensor and this is all real time uh, it's about the you know the amount of time it takes to scan uh, usually in the first 10 percent it'll show you if you have a code already it, you don't have to wait until 100 percent it'll show you but I have no faults but if I did up here in the top left hand corner I can clear my faults I can reload them um, I can freeze it I can save my logs or I can load old ones. Uh, I can share it. And what you don't see up because I don't have any codes is that if I do, um, they'll light up yellow or red. Yellow means that it's a code found in your ECU, but not a permanent code where it would trip the light. And red codes are the ones that are causing your light to trip. And if you can, can, you can actually click on them if you're connected to what you know, Wi-Fi or data or whatever. Uh, you can click on the code, and it'll bring you to a website that will try to tell you as much about that code as possible. It comes in quite handy, actually. And there's a lot of add-ons you can get too. Uh, there's a track recorder, so if you have a your phone. Uh, set up for like a dash cam um, you can actually it'll record you using your camera and any gauges that you set up on the dash in the phone 
so you can record and watch later on. So if you're like you're at a, if you're at a, a track and you want to check your quarter mile runs, you can record whatever information you want to put on the dash, and it'll record your video of you running down the track at the same time. So, all right. So where's my real time information? I have not modified this dash setup um, for my truck yet. Uh, this is actually was set up for my old truck. And this is what you would use the GPS for. Uh, so the GPS can locate you for your quarter mile times more accurately. Check your, your horsepower, all that. It, it does it just more accurately. You can do it without it. Um, emissions if you have it. Now, this is reading wrong on mine, and this is probably why uh, I can't find my um, balance rates yet uh, because for some reason the app is still thinking my truck is spark type and it's not because it's a diesel so I don't have spark that's also why I don't have all these other uh, components uh, monitors I have none of these monitors so I mean that's that but if you can add a display we can pick any type here. We got graphs, digital gauges, raw data display, which is more uh, kind of like the emissions log that I was showing you. Roll meters. Uh, that uses your phone to check. Um, let's see here. We're, we can get a live uh, Google Map view inside your dash if you want. We'll go with half meter digital. Now, all these dark green ones are phone usage ones, I believe. Can't remember exactly. Uh, blacked out ones are ones that you can't use because your vehicle's not, uh, your vehicle doesn't have that monitor. Or for some reason, if there's an issue with the app, the app is not uh, understanding that your vehicle may be able to read that. Um, then there should be, I mean, there's a lot here. This is just my general motor section uh, when I was working on the PIDs. Okay, uh, this is normal stuff. You, you can check your interfere ratio if you have, if your vehicle, you know, if you have O2s and so two sensors um, trip with the app running let's see estimated now that estimated you have to set up a very accurate um, like your weight uh, motor size in the beginning there's a, a setting so menu um, that you want to be as accurate as possible when setting it up uh, your gross weight, if you can get the gross weight of the vehicle and add your weight into it, it makes it that much more accurate. Coolant temp, engine load, RPM, fuel rate based on you know how much throttle you're using. So right now it says I have 51 percent fuel because mine's not like I said. This was set up for my old truck, not my truck now. Uh, I actually have three quarters of a tank of fuel in this truck. It thinks I only have a half tank because it's not set up. That doesn't use a sensor. Horsepower, that uses your phone, all that. GPS versus um, your truck's actual reading. That's good to have if you have a different set of tires on. The GPS versus OBD. You can measure side by side uh, your speed difference. Uh, air temperatures. Manifold pressure, which I don't understand. What I my I think my banks is tricking the manifold pressure because I shouldn't be boosting at all right now, let alone 14 pounds. But I'm, I think that has something to do with my banks. <coughs> there's just there's so much in here you can check OBDs, uh, oxygen sensors. 
your actual speed. That's from your OBD, as it says. There we go. Turbo boost vacuum right there. That's on. Now that's accurate right there. Because I'm not boosting any at all. Voltage. Voltage efficiency. Ah, yeah, let's. Well, actually, I should just add one for fun here. We'll just go down here to. Large gauge. I'm not going to really boost anything because I'm just idling, so. And there's a lot of add ons you can get too. Uh, there's a track recorder, so if you have a your phone uh, set up for like a dash cam, um, you can actually it'll record you using your camera and any gauges that you set up on the dash in the phone, so you can record and watch later on. So if you're like you're at a, if you're at a, a track and you want to check your quarter mile runs, you can record whatever information you want to put on the dash and it'll record your video of you running down the track at the same time so yeah and I, I highly highly recommend anyone who needs their own scanner before you go out and buy uh, a cheaper one at your local parts store now I'm not talking like a snap-on probe. I mean, those things are absolutely amazing. I'm talking just your your average scanner, code readers. Don't do it. Check this app out. You can get there is a free version of the app. It is worth the five bucks. Up, down, left, right. There is nothing that matches this for the price. And then on top, and then you just spend another roughly twenty bucks for a Bluetooth reader. It's it's fantastic. So till next time.